Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going over where specifically to go for help for ETRSX2 questions. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, ETRSX2 is by far the best PS2 emulator on Android. If you want to learn how to set it up, I've got you covered with a tutorial. I've also got a bunch of other videos on tips and tricks for ETRSX2. However, if you've got specific questions and maybe you're trying to play a game and it's just not going the way you want it, there are some places you can look for some instant help. Now, the first place I'd recommend checking out is actually the PCSX2 wiki page. You might be thinking, hey, PCSX2 is not ETRSX2, in which case, yes, you would be correct. But ETRSX2 is basically PCSX2 on Android. There are some problems with some specific games here on PCSX2 that also apply to ETRSX2. For example here, let's take a look at Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And if I scroll down the page here, there are some known issues. Uh, one of them is graphic artifacts while flying. The status is currently active, meaning it hasn't been fixed yet. Uh, the type is minor. Description says, when you're flying up in the sky, flickering graphical artifacts can be spotted in the background map. So if you're dealing with this issue, it looks like there's a workaround. Use the software renderer. So this works on PCSX2 and chances are it'll work on ETRSX2. But I will warn you here, switching to the software renderer on ETRSX2, it'll probably slow your game down quite a bit. Phones aren't near as powerful as PC. This might be a graphical issue that you just have to deal with. The PCSX2 wiki page has over 5,000 games you can check out. If you're running into game-specific issues, please check here first. The second place I'd recommend checking out is the PCSX2 forum. This forum is extremely active. If you're running into game-specific issues, chances are they have been asked here before. For example, here the general discussion and support forum has a ton of different Q&As including game-specific ones. Now, the third place I'd recommend checking out and probably the first place I'd recommend checking out if it's a device-specific issue is the ETRSX2 Reddit page. This community is amazing. There's over 9.5 thousand members and it's rapidly growing. There's a lot of topics on here, a lot of questions, a lot of answers. Now, staying on Reddit here, the fourth place I'd recommend checking out if your question maybe isn't device specific and it's more game specific and you really haven't found your answer anywhere else is the official PCSX2 subreddit. This community has over 16,000 members. It's amazing. There are a ton of posts here and a ton of questions and answers. And last but definitely not least here, the fifth and final place I'd recommend checking out is the official ETRSX2 Discord, specifically the help channel. If you haven't been able to find your answer anywhere and you're still struggling, you might want to ask it here and someone might help you. Now, a huge piece of advice here, no matter where you're asking your question, whether it's on Reddit or on the PCSX2 forums or even on the ETRSX2 Discord, make sure to read the rules before you post anything. And truth be told here, one of the biggest problems that most people will have trying to run ETRSX2 is the fact that their phone isn't powerful enough. PS2 emulation requires quite a bit of CPU power. A lot of PCs struggle with it. Even more phones will. I have a Google Pixel 5 and I can tell you it's not powerful enough to run every single game perfectly. This phone struggles quite a bit. I know it might be a tough pill to swallow to accept the fact that your phone might not be good enough for PS2 emulation. And I know that really sucks, but at the same time here, Eater SX2 is improving and things might hopefully get better for you, but you might have to wait until your next phone for a better experience overall. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about Eater SX2 in the comments below. And let me know your thoughts about performance of Eater SX2 currently on your Android device in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone. Take care.